What's good, everybody? It is your girl, Imani P, aka Money P, aka Push a P, aka Miss Get Active. And welcome to my channel, Imani Versus, uh, where I talk about music, culture, and more. And also, I'm from the DMV, because I forgot to say that. <laughs> so yes, I'm Imani P from the DMV. What's poppin'? You know, I went to this school. I had a, a weird time there. <laughs> Anyway, today we're finally gonna do like a cool review on Wild Side by Normani featuring Cardi B. So yeah, let's get started. All right, so just a reminder, like every video until like one day I will have to do it, right? Make sure you like, comment um, to this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. Make sure you share this video. Um, check out my Spotify playlist. Um, everyone likes them, they're quite popular, which I'm surprised about. And it's at Imani Versus. And check out my music blog, which is coolinggame.blog. And everything's in the link. Wait, what, what is it? Like, those are linked in the description below. Y'all have a moment. And it's okay to have these moments. But if you and your friends have suffered from, from mesothelioma, you are entitled con to compensation. All right, so um, for those of you who don't know, Normani finally dropped a song after we waited like a year and a half for her to drop music. Um, um, July 16th, on July 16th, she dropped the song Wild Side, which is featuring Cardi B, and she dropped a music video. So first I'm gonna analyze the song the music video and then I'm going to uh, end the video because I'm doing my best to stay positive even though I feel like I know what's gonna happen after this song okay I didn't watch the music video before I listened to the song because I know nowadays people will sit up here and put a music video on your face and that song will suck so I went straight to Spotify and listened to the song Spotify should sponsor me one day because like I really love Spotify and I feel like I'm an advocate so like I should be the queen of Spotify. So when I first heard the song I was just kind of like okay like it's a Aaliyah sample. I love that because I love Aaliyah. It samples one in a million by Aaliyah and I was like okay. That the song was just okay to me. The vocals once again were just okay but I don't really expect vocals for, from Normani. After like a week of like hearing it on TikTok and on Instagram and Twitter, the song has definitely grown on me to the point where I do sort of like the song now. That's why I give myself a week to analyze like albums and songs and stuff. Cause just, you know, if you just talked to me firsthand last week, I would just tell you straight up the song's just okay and it has no replay value. I still sort of feel that way, but now I feel like there's more of a replay value since I've listened to it a lot. I hope I didn't just, you know what I mean? The next thing I want to say about this song is that Cardi B sucked on it and I really wish they didn't have her on the song because the way Cardi B approached the song, she approached it like some city girls twerk type song, talking about some, oh, I want that and I want it now. Like, girl, that is not like, the the aggressiveness is not the mood of this song. This song's supposed to be a smooth, like, like song about like, you know, relations and what you would do. I feel like she should have approached the song with like a softer voice when she rapped and had more innuendos, more metaphors and stuff. But like, once again, that's just me expecting something from someone that don't got it. Now, I eventually saw the music video a little bit later after I listened to the song. And the music video is absolutely amazing. That John was produced and edited by the gods above. And we're going to thank them for giving these people the gift to do that because the way Normani was dancing, her dancers, the homage to Aaliyah, the all white outfit. I feel like that's like the most glamorous part of the music video. Like the all white outfit. It was just so beautiful. I loved it so much. I love how she was, um, she was just showing her ass cheeks throughout the video too. Because like the way the video starts, she just come up in there and you just see her whole butt, like her, her whole thing. And I was like, it wasn't 12 p.m. yet, so I wasn't on that mood, you know? I wasn't on that time. The music video was amazing, like, yes. Like, I loved every second of it. I don't have anything bad about that music video. Like, even Cardi B looked good in the music video. I do, I guess, like, for Normani, I do expect, like, great performances from her because obviously she, she knows how to perform. She knows how to put on a show, and I love that. We don't have that nowadays. We also don't have people that uh, do music videos like this nowadays. I love the music video. The song is just okay. Um, I don't dislike it, but I'm just 
uh, I just hope they don't do to this moment, this moment for Normani, what they did for Motivation, and don't follow up with another song, or Normani jumping on a feature, or Normani doing more interviews and stuff. I see she's doing interviews and like talking on social media, so that's a good start. Or, you know, an announcement of uh, what's the track list on the album, when it's gonna come out, you know what I mean? Like, I hope they don't, I hope they don't squander this moment. I just feel like her team is gonna drop the ball again. And yeah. Thank you for watching. Let me know how you feel about Wild Side in the comments below. And make sure you like, comment, and share this video. Make sure you subscribe to this channel. And I'll see y'all real soon, cause I'm that girl.